Okay, I think it's live. Praise the Lord, church. Hi, Sister Diane here. I pray that uh, you are all doing well. Praise the Lord. It is Sunday afternoon, and Sister Diane here with you. All the way from Portland, Oregon. And um, just want to say how grateful and thankful I am to the Lord for all his many blessings and all that he has done and doing for us. And um, just want to say hi to everyone. Uh, Rock Church there in Lake Jackson, Clute. Praise the Lord. Um, so just want to once again welcome everyone to the Rock Church um, to today's Sunday's Sunday evening's uh, message and uh, I pray that everyone is doing well and fine and blessed um, so with not not wanting to delay too much I want to um, go into prayer as so I know that we all have needs and we all are asking the Lord to intervene and to answer many requests that we have and so I would like you to join me in prayer and let's go to the Lord for the needs and for his word today that he would um, speak to our hearts and to our lives today and in the mighty name of Jesus. So but you would join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to give you all the honor and the glory, the thanks, Lord God, because you are uh, wonderful. You're marvelous. You are amazing. You are a loving, caring God. And Today, Father, you know each heart, Father, each life, each um, family, Father, that's going to be tuning in into this uh, service tonight, Lord, and the request that they might have, the need that they have before you, Lord. I pray for that, Lord. I lift it up in prayer, Lord. Will you touch, Father, their lives? Will you touch their hearts, Lord God? Will you supply that need, Lord, whatever it may be, Father, whether it's healing in their bodies, Lord, whether it's restoration in their lives, Lord God, and strengthen in their walk with you, Lord. And I pray tonight, Lord, that as I bring this message you have placed in my heart, Father, there would be a blessing. It would be an encouragement as you speak to us, Lord, today, Lord. And I pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for we expect, Lord God, your will to be done in each and one of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. So once again, Rock Church, the Lord bless you guys tonight. Uh, Sister Diane here with you, and I am excited and just happy uh, to be able to come um, here on, on live. And I give uh, Bishop and Sister Smith honor, as well as uh, Pastor Evans and Sister Evans. Um, so the Lord bless you guys mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you don't mind grabbing your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Isaiah. And we have uh, a scripture that is very familiar. But let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 55. And I'm going to read verses. Um, starting with verse, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Uh, verse number um, 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. And so this is the where I want to focus uh, m the message today. And I want you to um, um, follow along with me and let the Lord speak to your heart today in Jesus mighty name. Okay. So like I said, this is a very, uh, familiar scripture It's a, it's a scripture that we oftentimes maybe have quoted it. And so, but oftentimes it is, um, good. If I, if I can put it that way, good, uh, or the need is to come and to also look at the scripture again and reflect on it once again. So the familiar scripture and as the Holy ghost leads, today may it bless you okay um though the book of isaiah here is written to the people of israel and it's a, you know but it's a wonderful um it has a lot of wonderful truth that is for even for us today uh god was speaking to a discouraged uh people people that were in captivity and whose future was uncertain and whose lives was hard 
that sounds familiar to us today. Um, you know, and also what we're reading here in um, the couple of verses that I've read, it is a, it reveals the character of God and his disposition to his people. And I want to focus, you know, just on verse six through nine. And there's three points that I want to point out through in these three verses. Number one is seek the Lord while he may be found. Number two is to forsake your ways. Um, repent. Number three is trust his thoughts. Trust God's thoughts. Trust God's ways. Verse six says, seek the Lord. Uh, let's go back to it. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is, while he is near. While he is near, while the Lord is nudging at you, while the Lord is, you know, tapping at your shoulder, while the Holy Ghost is, uh, is drawing you to the Lord, seek him, seek him while he is near. Um, seek him with all your heart. Okay. Verse seven says, let's go to verse seven. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. We are unrighteous. We are wicked. We are ungodly. We are unholy. Without God, we are, this is who we are. We are of a sinful nature. But the, law, the Lord is calling out to us. He is drawing to us and he wants us to seek him. And he wants us to come and even accept on unrighteousness, accept that we are of a sinful nature. And then it continues to say, um, forsake your, your, let's go back. Okay. Forsake that way, the wicked way and the unrighteous man, his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and, and, and to our God. And he would abundantly pardon. So we were forsake our, our ways we uh, know that we are unrighteous, but we repent and the Lord pardon, pardon us. You know, Romans chapter 3 verse 10 says, uh, there is none righteous. No, not one. None of us is righteous. Uh, but the Lord will forgive us. And he, his righteousness, uh, he gives us his righteousness. Okay. Verse number eight that I want to look at, it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. And here the Lord is making a very distinction uh, of his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. Um, the Lord thinks very differently about everything that happens to us in our lives and in our situation. We may think that the Lord is punishing us. We may think that the Lord is not for us. We may think that why I'm in this trial, why I'm in this uh, problem, why I am in this situation, that the Lord doesn't care, the Lord doesn't love, the Lord doesn't is not there for me. But he is telling us tonight that our ways are not his ways. He is telling us today that his thoughts are not our thoughts. He, they're much higher they're much higher than what we can, we, than our ways and our thoughts. And if he's telling that us that today, then we can trust that. We can um, depend on his thoughts. We can lean on his thoughts. We can lean on his, his ways. We can trust the God that loves us. We can trust that God that is for us. We can trust on his character and who he is. And um, don't let your thoughts wander. Hold captives of your, of your thoughts. And don't let them take you to doubt. Don't let them take you to fear. Don't let them take you to anxiety and hopelessness. That's the one thing that the enemy will love to take away is our hope. He will love to see you or make you feel hopeless and hopelessness. He will love to have you in that, in, in that place for you to be there. He would love to have you uh, not hope in the Lord 
and not to grab a hold of the promises that God has made made to us individually and as the body of Christ, as the bride of Christ, as the church. Um, he would want you to think, the enemy would want you to think that you're not important to God. You are very important to the Lord. He loves us. The three things Isaiah tells us in these three verses is to seek the Lord may, while he may be found. Forsake our wicked ways. Forsake our unrighteous thoughts. And then the other one, trust God and his thoughts. Trust God, his ways and his ways. Trust in that love that he has for us. Trust in that hope that he has for us. That we have an awesome God that loves us and that's there for us. We have a merciful God that is always there for us. He is righteous. Arm yourself with, with praise and worship. Arm yourself with the word of God. Um, I was thinking in, 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 um, that, and this is, you know, my experience and, and what I, you know, been thinking and, and how, how um, I guess, struggle or my thoughts. I don't know. Um, how I would say it, but put it, but I don't say, okay, Lord, I am unrighteous. Okay, Lord, I am unholy, unpure. I'm wicked. And the, un the enemy would love to see us destroyed and see you destroyed. And he would love to, for me to not to trust God, not to believe in his word and not to all, all that, right? And okay, Lord, I'm, I'm this wicked person. I'm this unrighteous person. But he loves us. He loves us. God loves us. The Lord Jesus Christ loves us. And that's what the enemy hates the most. That God's love is there. He's, it's for us. And that all we got to do is receive it. All we got to do is say, Lord, here, here I am. This unrighteous person that you love, <laughs> that you have good thoughts for, that you um, have eternal life ready for me, there for me. All I got to do is receive it, accept it. And there's no, sh and I was like, the Lord, the enemy was trying to shame me. For being unrighteous. The Lord, the enemy was trying to shame me for, for being unholy, for being of a sinful nature. And I'm like, no, you can't shame me. You can't, you can't try to make me feel bad because I have <laughs> flesh, you know? You can't shame me for that. And I don't accept that. I do accept that I'm unworthy, you know, and and I do do have this sinful nature, but it doesn't stop there. It doesn't end there. The love of God, as I receive it, as I let the love of God become perfect in my life and in, in my walk with him. Wow. I'm just like, wow. Okay, Lord. <laughs> it's your ways. It's your thoughts that I'm going to grab a hold of. It's what you think of me. It's what you say who I am in you, Lord. Is where I'm going to grab a hold of and I'm going to arm myself and I'm going to put on that robe of righteousness and I'm going to, you know, worship the Lord and give him honor and glory and thanks and just glorify and exalt his name and just worship the Lord and just continue to trust him, continue to seek him, continue to, um, you know, get into his word and, and arm ourselves with the word of God. Let his word really dwell in us richly. So when those unrighteous thoughts come or those wicked ways that try to sneak up on us and want us to go that way, there we are. We say no. You know, we are seeking the Lord. And we say, no, Lord, it's your thoughts, Lord. Lord, Lord it's your ways, Lord. And I, and I, I accept it. I receive it. I want to walk in your ways. I want to you know, put on the mind of Christ, right? And, and put on the armor of the Lord that he has for us. So we are able to 
uh, deal with some of these things that the enemy tries to throw at us and throw the hopelessness at us or throw anxiety and fear. And um, so, no, church, I really pray that this word will, will bless you today, that it has blessed you and you would even read it a little bit more. Read the book of, of Isaiah or the chapter 55 and know that uh, the people of Israel were held captive and they they had it difficult and their lives was uncertain. Many of our lives are uncertain. You know, tomorrow is not even ours to say. And uh, life is uncertain and, and, and different things, you know, whether it's an illness, whether it's job wise or, you know, you can fill in the blanks, you know, but um, we are in good hands. We are in the hands of the Lord and no one or anything can move us from his hands, his protection, his guidance, his deliverance whatever you need. So let, let's pray church. Heavenly Father, I want to give you honor and glory and thanks, Lord. Because Lord, you are near to us, Lord, and we are to seek you, Father, when you when your spirit is nudging at us or when conviction comes, Lord God. God I pray today, Father, that the, that your body, Lord, that the your people, Father, would would seek you, Father, with a true heart, Lord God, that we would turn away from unrighteousness, that we would turn away, Father, from even our own wicked heart, Lord God, that wants to even lead us the wrong direction, Father, our own thoughts, Lord God, that are not godly thoughts, and they're not thoughts, Father, of faith, they're not thoughts based on your word, Lord. Give us, Lord God, understanding and wisdom, Lord, and I pray, Father, that not only we would seek you, not only would we would forsake those unrighteous thoughts and, and things, Lord, but Father, that we would trust you, that we would lean on your love, we would lean on the hope that you have given us, that we would be strengthened in our walk with you, Lord, and God, that your word, Father, would, would that we would grow in your word and grow in understanding and in wisdom. And Father, I pray today, Father, that not only, Lord God, that this word would, would bless us today, but we could use it tomorrow. We would use it next week, Lord God, when fear, when doubt, when anything, Father, outside, Father, tries to, Father, um, lead us the wrong direction or receive something that's not of yours, Lord. And so in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for each person, Father, that is listening and will listen to this message that they would be encouraged, Lord, and that we would draw nigh to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. So church, I pray that this, I know it was a short message, would bless you. And as you let the Lord uh, continue to speak to your, to your life and into your heart, um, and that we would magnify his name, we would, we would exalt his name and give him honor and glory. And, and um, yeah. The Lord God is good. He is amazing. He is He is loving, kind, and He He's He's just He is just for us. He is not against us. Remember that His thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and His ways are higher than our ways. And we can trust in that. We can lean on that. I mean, you can take that to the bank and cash it in. Lord bless y'all, church. Love you, and um, hope to see you soon. Lord bless. Good night.